Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for all Virgos. You might have Virgo in your chart. You could have um, Moon, Rising, or Sun, or Venus. So we have change. I feel like you guys are craving a change. Maybe you're thinking about moving. You want to start a new life. You're ready for that new chapter, that new cycle. We also have mature man. You might be looking at a sugar daddy to make this possible for you. And we have courthouse. Some of you guys are going to court. Some of you need permission from the court to do these things, to move or to start a new life. Let's see, maybe you, um, share children with somebody. We have Gemini. This is for Virgo. Please, spirit guides. Some of you are, um, could be dealing with a Gemini. You could also have Gemini in your chart. Let's see. What else? This is for Virgo. Please, spirit guides. This is for Virgo. Okay, we have Zaddy. This just came out in the last reading, too. So some of you guys might be trying to manifest something new with somebody with a new partner. Um, let's see, what else? Is this is for Virgo, please, spirit guides. Need more time. Some of you feel like things are moving too quickly. You just don't have enough time to do all the things you need to do to get everything done. Okay. What is this? Girlfriends, make sure that you are, if you need to talk to your girlfriends, make sure you're confiding in them about what's going on with you. Maybe you really need their support right now. Um, open up, let your friends in, you know. We have I want you back. Someone from the past is either stalking you, they're trying to get your attention, they want you back, um, your ex wants you back. We have devil, be careful because they may not have the best intentions for you. They could be a Capricorn. They could be trying to use you, is what I'm feeling. But I am also feeling like it's not really getting to you, that you guys don't really let it phase you, and that you guys are pretty much over it. So um, you're not going to be letting it affect you in any type of negative way or um, come back into your life like that. Because you know it's going to cause drama. You guys just know already. Okay, we have, I want to fix things. This person wants to make it right. <laughs> waiting on you. They might even be waiting for you. <laughs> it's like, you're going to be waiting a long time because, no. Because <laughs> you got cut off here, right? You got cut off. The Virgo went and cut you off. So, you've been, um, you've had access to the goods for, um, far too long. You're getting cut off. You broke my heart. This is what they may want to say to you. I'm studying you. Oh God. They're stalking you. The love is fading. They're trying to say, if you don't hurry up and love me, I'm going to get over you. You're like, I've been over you. <laughs> this ex is delusional. <laughs> Roller coaster love. Things have been up and down with this person, and you're over it. You're tired of the up and down. You don't want to deal with it anymore. We have good old-fashioned love. So this person may feel like um, things are just so comfortable with you. Like, they remind you of an old-school love. They think that you guys are going to be together forever. Like, you've been together since you were kids. And they just think that you're going to end up together again. And it's just a matter of time. And you're like, yeah, get over it. This could be an Aquarius star card. You guys are wishing, hoping, and wanting for better things, a better life. You're moving forward. You're over it. You don't want to deal with it anymore. You do not think it's going to just go back to normal. Things are going to go back to being good like how they think. And everything's going to be okay. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Could be dealing with a um, fire sign. So that would be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. 
But I feel like this is you guys. You're embodying this driven, fiery, feisty energy. This is ambitious. The Queen of Wands goes after what she wants. She doesn't care what people think. And that's how you guys feel. You guys are over it. You're not going to wait around for anybody. You're not waiting for answers. You're not waiting for them to tell you that they love you back. You're just, you're gone. Two of Pentacles. This could be juggling. This could also be indecisiveness. It could also be it's time to decide, right, for what you truly want. Because Judgment card is here. It could be a Scorpio. Judgment Day is coming. The Chariot. You guys could be moving. This is Cancer Energy. This is healing and moving forward. This is you want to get out of town. You want to travel. You want to start a new life. The judgment day. Judgment card can mean second chances, but it could also mean for me as a reader, it's like, you know, what you reap is what you sow, right? Like judgment day has come. So it's time for all the chips to fall where they may, okay? So um, if someone didn't make it in enough time, right? We had this card earlier, need more time. They feel like they need more time, maybe. They feel like they're running out of time. You know, um, if they don't get, if they weren't able to make it right by you in time, you're moving on without them, right? With or without them, doesn't matter. You're going places, you don't care. You're not gonna wait for anybody. So you're like, okay, I'm done, see ya. It's been good. Anything else? Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. So, yeah, this could mean that, you know, Ten of Swords, the cycle has ended, this karmic cycle has ended, and you're moving on, you're moving forward with success and victory. We have the Six of Swords here. You're moving on to calmer and more peaceful waters. We have the Strength card here. This is Leo energy. You guys, this has taken a lot of strength for you to come to this um, realization, to come to this conclusion, to learn the things that you've needed to learn and go through. Okay? So let's see. Let's get some oracle. Yeah, your, your ex is stalking you here. He's, you're, they're going to call you. They're going to text you. They're going to DM you online maybe soon. It's coming. Uh-oh, we have twin flame as overall energy. This person could be your twin flame. Or they could just be delusional. They think that they're your twin flame. So that's why they always think that you guys are going to come back together. We have hidden messages. So this means behind their text messages, behind what they say, they really mean something else. They could come off like, this could also be like they're, they're trying to hit you up about something else when really it's because they want to talk to you. But they don't want to admit that. So they're not going to come right out and say that. But they're going to say something like, oh, did you get your car fixed? I've been meaning to ask you about that. Meanwhile, they just want to talk to you. They're also just trying to bide more time here with the clocks. They're trying to get more time with you until thing it runs out. And I feel like you guys are like, honestly, it's already been over for a while. Pull up on me, anything. They just want to pull up on you. They want to pull up in front of your driveway, drive by your house. They could be driving by your house, seeing if you're home little bit of stalking going on we have obstacles here they're trying to say that you know these things from the past are over and i just think they're full of yes though to be honest with you i think as soon as you let them back in they would pull the same shit because we have the mud card obstacles with the mud see this it's like as soon as you let them back in they're gonna pull you into the same shit the same shit that you left them for the same reason you don't call them back or you don't pick up your their phone their phone calls right so I would just stay strong. You know what to do. I feel like you guys already know this. So I'm not telling you anything new. And um, let's see. But yeah, I hope that resonates for you guys. Let me know in the comments below. That's pretty much all I have for you. I feel like the messages have come through. So please hit the like button, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.